Okay, lunch is cheesy bread, marinara dipping sauce, seasoned green beans, fruit, Cheez-Its, and milk choices. Today's lunch is brought to you by Van Camp's Pork and Beans. Creamy beans <laughs> with your favorite cuts of swine. Don't just... We are also sponsoring the video. Lincoln Middle School. A land of awkward transitions, new discoveries, and a constant struggle to find your voice. But sometimes that voice finds expression in unexpected and often unwelcomed ways. Enter Maya and Ethan, two classmates navigating the choppy waters of adolescence. Maya, who's fiercely independent and quick-witted, Boot often uses humor laced with profanity. And Ethan, who's sensitive and cautious and prefers his words measured and kind. That math class is brutal. Ugh, I think my brain short circuited. Yeah, I almost forgot the Pythagorean theorem even existed. Forget, dude, that thing has been haunting me since kindergarten. Pythagorean f nightmare. Maya's casual use of curse words barely registers for her, but for Ethan, every harsh syllable feels like a blow. He wants to say something, but fears appearing childish or judgmental. The tension hangs heavy, unspoken. So, guess what? Sarah invited me to that party this weekend. You wanna join or what? Oh, uh, I don't know. They kinda just, it depends. Depends on what? Well. Spit it out. Uh, the language they kinda use is over the top and it's not really the most comfortable. Seriously, come on, dude, it's just words. They're not gonna hurt you. Get over it, Ethan. They're not just words, they're disrespectful and rude. There it was, a crack in the facade, his vulnerability exposed. I never really thought about it like that. I guess I use them without thinking. They kind of slip out, you know? My bad, Ethan, I'll try to think before I speak from now on. <laughs> Thanks for hearing me out. Maybe we can find middle ground. Or better yet, make our own party with fire music and, well, nice words. All right, bet. Let's have the party at my place. Let's see the f***ing deal. Ha ha, all right, all right, I'll stop this time. Ha ha! Okay. <laughs> In the wild landscape of middle school, respect and communication can bridge the gap between different voices. Sometimes finding the right words doesn't mean shouting the loudest, but speaking with kindness and understanding. So remember, Lancers, when you are talking to each other, keep it clean. We want you to be appropriate with your language. We're going to continue to focus on reflection and appreciation. So as we're talking about reflection, here is a blast from the past video that is the perfect reflection for you. It doesn't take a Harley Davidson rider to be respectful. Um. It doesn't take an iron chef. It doesn't take a gold medalist to be responsible. PE teacher. A Marine. It doesn't take a principal to be resilient. Uh, it doesn't take a spy. It doesn't take a shop teacher to be responsible. It doesn't take a French impressionist to be resilient. It doesn't take a professional athlete to take a marathonist. It doesn't take a Harvard graduate to be resilient. It doesn't take a teacher to be respectful. Mom to be. It doesn't take a pro bowler to be respectful. It doesn't take a racer. It doesn't take a cameraman to be respectful. Wow, it was really weird. Everyone in that video looked like they aged backwards. Looking good, Lancer staff. Okay, so Friday, this is our last Lancer celebration party. So if you had the good grades, the good attendance, the 
good behavior, then you are in for our last Lancer party. Um, don't forget to bring your money so that you can buy food and snacks. And also, Friday's dress-up day is Tacky Tourist, so show us what you got, Lancers.